Hello and welcome to Face Mask and Favorite Reads. My name is Stephanie and this is where I am going to do a face mask, do some skincare, and convince you to read my favorite book or series that I read last month. Let's go to the bathroom. So I am in my bathroom. It is green and my sink is yellow, my toilet is yellow, and my tub is yellow. It's from the 70s. Maybe starting this series will motivate me to actually redecorate and paint this bathroom. What we're doing today, again, is face masks and faded books. So I'm gonna do my skincare, we're gonna do a different mask every month, and do the, my favorite series from the previous month that I read. So this month is January, so we're gonna be doing my favorite book from December, which maybe you already know what I'm gonna say. Today's mask is the charcoal mask from Young Living. So I'm gonna wash my face really quick and then I'll be right back. I know nothing about skincare. This is just something, one of my personal goals is to read a lot of books and to take better care of the skin. Cause I turned 30 this year and so what better way to combine the two things than face masks and favorite book part of my YouTube channel. So I double cleansed, I toned. I don't know if that's the right order. If you know and wanna help me, I would love to be helped. This is the mask I'm using again. It's from Young Living, it's a charcoal mask. This is just the mask I have. I'm gonna do a different mask every month which that's fun if you have any good mask recommendations i would love to hear it so let me know in the comments um i try to gravitate towards like cl as clean as possible prefer minimal fragrance but i'm down for anything my skin is very dry um so especially these winter months i try to I'm trying to take better care of my skin. Like, I don't even know, like, I'm probably, I might be putting too much on, I don't even know. So I think you let this one for like 20 minutes. So while I have this mask on, well, let's go talk about my favorite book from December. Okay, I had to wash this off <laughs> and put it back on because my son required some bedtime assistance. Let's talk about my favorite read from December. If you watch any of my videos, you might already know what I'm going to say. This is my favorite series right now and definitely 100% was my favorite read of last month because it was basically my only read of last month. Um, but drum roll please. Zodiac Academy. This is Zodiac Academy Heartless Sky. Um, which is the seventh installment in the Zodiac Academy series. Uh, this is a beefcake of a book, okay? It is beefy, but when I tell you that this series is everything, I mean wholeheartedly that this series is everything. Please, I am begging you. It's on Kindle Unlimited. I'm gonna put in the comments a link to sign up for Kindle Unlimited if you don't already have it. If you do already have it, shut this video out right now and go on Kindle Unlimited. Download the first Zodiac Academy book. This series, I found this series when I was browsing a book related um, Facebook group, okay? And we were headed to the mountains, the cabin, so I wanted to download some books because we don't have great service up there when we go. And I stumbled upon a post where somebody was looking for some spice, fantasy spice, okay? I like fantasy spice. I thought I did. I didn't know what I was missing at that point. So I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, and I stopped. Because what does somebody say? Somebody says, read Zodiac Academy. It's like a spicy Harry Potter for adults. And I was like, 
say less, say less. I downloaded it immediately. Fast forward a couple days because we went up to the cabin for a week. Out there, there's no TV, no, barely any service. You have to go out into the field to get service if you want to talk to anybody or into town. Um, so I'm sitting there and I start reading. I'm reading the first book and it's a slow, it's a slow book. There's a ton of detail in, which I have grown to really appreciate. <laughs> um, I'm reading the first book and I'm like, who? Like, this is not like Harry Potter. Like the people, there's no way somebody could become obsessed with this. Like people are obsessed with Harry Potter. Like I am obsessed with Harry Potter. So I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm like, whatever. I'm waiting to get to the spice. Book one is not very spicy, but I was trudging along. So I'm like, let's find, let's find out what it's like here. I'm reading book one. The bullying, it's a bully romance, which is the, this is the first bully romance I've ever read. And I was like, oh, this is just intense. And like, ugh. it ended on a cliffhanger and I needed to know what happened. I read book two, liked it a little more, liked what was happening a little more. By book three, and this, this is all in the week span that I'm at the mountains, okay? I read book one in like a day, book two, a day or two. I'd have to look at my Goodreads. By the time I got to book three, guys, I, my husband was outside smoking a cigar. My son was asleep. I was reading book three. I was kicking down doors to get outside to my husband. That is how spicy this book gets. Okay. Okay. By book four, I was screaming. I was standing in the corner of our, there's a spot in the cabin where you can get service. It's by the fridge, by where the spices are. I am standing in this little crevice trying to get onto my Facebook to get into the discussion group for book four Shadow Princess. I was screaming. The cliffhanger I was like, I couldn't function. I <laughs> I needed to talk to somebody about it. I needed to talk to somebody about it now. I was messaging my book best friend and I was like, I'm reading a spicy Harry Potter. I'm gonna need you to read this. And thank God she is reading it. But I was screaming to get into it. By book four, I was 100% totally over the moon, fully obsessed. Book five, and book six, the character development in those two books alone is phenomenal. The authors are literal fantasy, bully romance, character development goddesses, okay? Book five and book six hurt me, made me laugh, made me cry. I was like, I couldn't, at this point, I could not love those characters more. And then this book came out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and then this book came out. I thought I couldn't love these characters more. And then these authors came out with this masterpiece and it is the second to last installment this book the character development from five and six <laughs> the character development from five and six by the time you get into this book I can't even explain the the, the love I have for everything in these pages right here, okay? There's so much happiness. There's just so much emotion in this book that, I mean, especially coming out of the 2020 fiasco, all that stuff, this series literally is the best for 
form of escape. I, I just can't say enough good things about it. This book is also the most painful cliffhanger out of the whole series. For me personally, I didn't, I didn't have any cliffhangers because I came into the series when one through six was published. Only book I have been around that was released, The Awakening from the Boy's Point of View, but which is an amazing book, but there's no cliffhanger at the end, obviously, because it's a retelling of the first book. So this is the first book in this series that I am here for waiting for the re for the next installment. If I would have had to wait for four, five, even maybe six, I, I don't think I would have been okay. And I'm, I'm, this absolutely devastated me. And I'm not gonna say why, no spoilers here. But I am so glad for the next book doesn't come out until December of this year, now 2022, and I am so glad for this year to reread. I'm going to annotate the piss out of my books, okay? I want to know every scrap of detail. When I did my reread for this bad boy to come out, I was shocked at how much I blew over because I was reading those books so fast, I could not get that information in my brain fast enough. I was reading them so fast. And I still ended up reading my reread too fast, but I definitely picked up more stuff. So I want to annotate my books so maybe I can slow the F down and pay better attention. But um, no, I, I lost my train of thought because I'm just getting so worked up. I cracked my spine when I made a TikTok. <laughs> This is a beast though. I like don't even think, how can you read this baddie without cracking the spine? She's so beefy. Look at it though. Meh. Um, I just wanna show you the cover pages. This is Darcy's chapter. Oh, one of the most amazing parts of this book, of this series is its multiple point of views. The chapters are long AF, long AF, okay? But there is so much detail. I, I honestly love it so much. Don't get me wrong, I love a short chapter. I feel like I read faster this way, but that se this series is not one that I want short chapters. Give me a 50 page chapter. I don't even care. I want to read it, especially if it's Darius's point of view. Also, one thing I just need to say is I, I don't reread. If I like a series, I like it, I do not reread. I've already reread Zodiac Academy and I haven't even, it hasn't even been a year since I found it. I was rereading it as soon as I was done. That is unheard of, I've never done that ever in my lifetime. And I've been a fandom hoe, okay? Twilight, all the things. I can get down with a fandom hardcore but I have never done a reread like that. That's how much this book has gripped me. This series has gripped me. Also, not only that, but I have made mostly stopped buying books, started buying books, whatever, but I have never bought a book that is on Kindle Unlimited, okay? And I have been a Kindle Unlimited member since 2019. I have never bought a book that I've read on Kindle Unlimited because what's the point? I've already read it and I don't reread. <laughs> I need them. I need them. They're gonna be willed to my grandchildren. I'm gonna annotate them, write in them, and my grandkids better read these freaking books. That's all I have to say. But not only do I want the paperbacks to annotate, they're coming out with hardcovers. I need them. I love this series so much. But, so not only do we have seven books, just kidding, we do have eight books because not only do we have seven books in multiple point of views, they gave us, blessed us with uh, the first book, which is Zodiac Academy of the Awakening. They have blessed us with that book as told by the boys. 
I will say, do not touch that book until you get at least, I read it, obviously, I read it after I read book six, five at the soonest. Do not read it before then. But they blessed us with that glorious, amazing book. So we have the seven, seven original, you know, whatever books. Blessed us with the boy's point of view of book one. And we have novellas. And we have novellas. This is Zodiac Academy um, Origins of an Academy Bully. This is amazing. It talks mostly about Lance and Darius, which I'm not going to get too much into. This is also on Kindle Unlimited. It's a very quick read. Again, this is on Kindle Unlimited, but I needed it. I need it for myself. I love it so much. Um, so this you can read before because it's technically it says book zero. So you can read this first and then go to The Awakening, go to Ruthless Fay, go to what's the third book? The Reckoning, then Cursed Fates. Hold on. No, no, no. Shadow Princess. Shadow Princess, how could I forget Shadow Princess? Then it's Cursed Fates, then it's Fated Throne, now Heartless Sky, and I don't know what book eight is called, I can't wait to find out the title whenever they come up with it. Um, now I'm getting off track again. And then we have this second beautiful novella, which is The Big ASS Party, which I'm not gonna talk too much about because please go read it and find out what that is for yourself. But this is book 5.5, so you can read it in between five and six. But the amazing thing about the fact that there even is novellas is, guys, this series is a fantasy romance lover's dream. First of all, there's so much content in the books alone. It's so well written. The character development is amazing. It's some of the best character development I've personally ever read, okay? And I read a lot. And not only book-wise is it amazing, not only do we have so much content book-wise, but the authors themselves, Caroline Peckham and Peckham, sorry, I don't know, um, and Susan Valenti, they have a thriving, thriving online Facebook fandom group full of the most amazing people. It is hands down, I have two favorite Facebook groups. Both are book related. That is one of them. Probably my favorite, I don't know. I love them both so much. I can't, it hurts me to even choose a favorite, but their Facebook group is top notch. Top notch. And yeah. Have I convinced you to read this series yet? Have I convinced you to read this series? Because literally it is like, it is a huge chunk of my heart and my soul. I will never ever be able, oh, oh, I almost forgot. Not only do the books, the books, the Facebook groups, they have Instagrams and TikToks, but they they literally are every fangirl's dream authors. Literally, they treat us so good. They have Spotify playlists to coordinate with their books. When I say that I have listened to the Zodiac Academy six and seven playlists more than any other playlist or music the last six months of 2021, I'm not joking. I used to put my headphones in and go run listening and, <laughs> to, and like I was listening to those playlists trying to decipher what was going to happen in the book seven. It's just amazing. Fandom, I can talk about this for days. I'm already at 20 minutes. This is the longest I've ever talked on a video for YouTube. 20 minutes though. This is It's time to wash this off. 
we're gonna wash this off. I'm gonna stop talking about Zodiac Academy. Please, please, I am begging you, read this series. Get it on Kindle Unlimited tonight and start reading it. There's also audiobooks. I'm not an audiobook person because I don't have the attention span for an audiobook. Apparently they're amazing. Apparently the people who narrate the audiobooks are absolute gold. They get rave reviews in the Facebook group. So if audiobooks are your thing, there's audiobooks. It's on Kindle Unlimited, which is amazing. You can buy the physical books. Please, 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 please start this series. Don't be discouraged by book one because like I even said, I didn't think I was gonna love it like I love it. And listen to me, I just made a 20 minute video trying to convince the world to read this series. <laughs> so give it a chance, wait until you finish book four, message me girl, boy, whoever you are, message me friend, and I will virtually hold you while you cry at the end of book four, but just join me. I want, I want all of us to be in this fandom, okay? Let's go wash this off. <laughs> Back again in the green and yellow bathroom. Let's wash this off real quick. Okay, so that face mask is really nice. I just want to say again, I'm pretty sure I said this at the beginning of the video, I am not a skincare aficionado, I am a book aficionado. This is just an excuse because one of my personal goals is to do better about skincare, and this just gives me an excuse to try new face masks every month, as I tell you about my favorite book from the previous month. So again, don't come here for skincare advice, or... And definitely don't come here thinking I know what I'm doing in regards to skincare because I don't. <laughs> if you do though and want to hook a sister up with some tips, I'm all ears. Let me know in the comments. I am here to tell you about books. Good books. My favorite books from the last month. So again, I use the charcoal mask from Young Living. I don't know what I'm going to use next month. If you have a great mask that you love, let me know in the comments and I would love to check it out. I'm open to anything. I just personally try to steer clear, just like stick to cleaner, try to avoid fragrance when I can, try to stick with cleaner things. But I'm open to anything, trying anything that you love and would suggest. And in return, I hope you give this beautiful book an amazing series a shot. And if you do, I would love to hear your thoughts. Definitely come back and let me know what you think. Find me on Instagram at Steph Lives in Pages. Same on TikTok, Steph Lives in Pages. I would love to connect with you. I would love to hear your thoughts on this book. Thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss next month's video. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today.